how to download and use Ansible Galaxy Collection with Ansible Galaxy and Requirements YML, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. An Ansible collection is a distribution format for Ansible content. It solves one problem and contains all the relevant packages and distribute playbook, role, module and plugin. For users, the Ansible collection are easy to download and share via Ansible Galaxy. For developer, the Ansible collection are easy to upload and share via Galaxy. Plus, an Ansible collection has a defined standard directory structure, format and version. What is Ansible Galaxy? Is the official website available at the URL https galaxy.ansible.com. The search there is a search engine, tags and platform and make you easy to find any content inside. I recommend you to carefully evaluate the quality of content before using in your system. Quality indicators are usually the quality assurance of code, the supported operating system and platform, and the documentation, the release number, the presence of a changelog, the number of download, and the author or creator. Please notice that the website contains Ansible Collection and Ansible Role. Today we are focusing on Ansible Collection content. The best way is to jump in a demo about how to download and use Ansible Galaxy Connect Collection. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Wait a minute, where to find more information about Ansible collection, the full list, how to install, how to set it up and all example of code, of course on the Ansible documentation page. This is a very long content as you can see where you could find out all your day-to-day -day interaction. He show also some example how to interact with uh, Ansible uh, Galaxy repository, also Red Hat Automation Hub for uh, paying customer, and uh, also to specify some uh, specific version somehow is necessary. How to use offline? Yeah, really, there is a plenty of option and uh, it's worth it to take a look. Ansible collection are a new way to approach reusable code and can be a bunch of a lot of things. You can also incorporate uh, a lot of code that previously was uh, shared with Roll. So you need to take a look about this stuff and uh, since uh, the new Ansible core 2.10, this is the preferred way of moving forward. So take a look, it will be worth it and see us on the demo. Welcome my IDE. First of all, let me use uh, one module that is not included in the standard Ansible. For example, Community General mod probe module. So let's start our play with a name mod probe module demo that is going to target host localhost. Yes, I want to run against localhost and I need a root privilege so become set to true. Let me define some variable. First of all, the module name to load. There is a dummy kernel module that is 
for this purpose is an empty module just for checking out if everything works. Uh, I need to set ansible underscore connection to local because I'm targeting localhost. Um, let's start uh, our task list, only one task, load the module, what else? Uh, uh, oh, the full name of the module is community.general.modprobe. This is a very common uh, collection. Uh, the name is uh, module underscore name. Here we go. And the state must be present on the system. This is a very simple demo. Uh, I would like to start with a module not included in the standard Ansible uh, baseline. And uh, community.general is a very wide collection with a lot of modules. Sooner or later, you need to use it and you must know. So let me move to one node that has. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect with, to my node with a DevOps username, and the node is CentOS Stream Example.com. This node has only Ansible core installed, so only the core of Ansible present. Let me show you the Ansible version that is 2.12 and let me double check with DNF list installed Ansible core that only 2.12 from upstream repository installed. There is no full Ansible as you can see because uh, this is a new machine that has only the core installed. So how could we use the community general uh, collection? Let me show you what could be the output of running your collection without having the code installed. As expected, Ansible uh, ran in a fatal error say couldn't resolve module community general mod probe and the way to fix it is to interact uh, with ansible galaxy lucky as there is a command line utility named ansible dash galaxy with a two option collection and role let's focus on the collection part this is the help and the most updated version as also the least parameter. This type of error, the red one, is common because uh, it's the first time I'm running this code, which means no collection present at the moment. Yeah, they could improve a little bit. Uh, Ansible-galaxy install let me run my requirement.yml. This is a special file that has the list of all the requirement collection for my code. And here we go, in a blink of an eye is downloading directly the content version 4.5.0, the latest available from the Galaxy repository and successfully installing on my system. Now I could double check that everything is in order with Ansible-Galaxy, again collection, and list, and I'm expecting a different result. Here we go, we have community.general collection successfully installed in my system. Yay, this is a great success. So what happens if we run again our Ansible playbook code? Let's figure out the only way is to run it. And we have a change status, which means our code run was successful. I could also double check with ls mode to verify if module dummy is currently installed. Let me grab it and here we go. But the main part is that we are able to add more code to our simple Ansible code base and interacting with Ansible Galaxy is getting very easy with Ansible-Galaxy command line utility and uh, the most common way to troubleshoot is to start listing the collection and uh, figure out what our code need to run. I will show you how to create the requirement.yml and move forward on this stuff. 
Welcome back on my editor, let me show you the requirement.yml This is a very simple file, it's a YAML formatted and uh, on the collection list uh, you need to just add uh, your name of the community and the source where to download In my case through galaxy.example.com This is the official repository and the one from all the community contribution Bear in mind that Red Hat has also a product name Ansible Hub, Automation Hub to deal with uh, Red Hat certified and partner stuff So this could be other option, but for our example is enough This is a very powerful way to add code to your base Ansible stuff So is incredibly important that you add this tool to your toolbox Now you know how to download and use Ansible Galaxy collection in your system with Ansible Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general keep in touch with me See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot This video is part of our Ansible automation program Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun